How low-cost Scorpion fighter jet could be a solution for future battles? The Textron Airland Scorpion is an American jet aircraft proposed for sale to perform light attack and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR duties. It is being developed by Textron Airland, a joint venture between Textron and Airland Enterprises. The Scorpion is a twin-engine, turbofan-powered aircraft with a swept-wing design. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 11,000 pounds and can carry up to 3,000 pounds of payload. The Scorpion has a top speed of 518 miles per hour and a range of 1,700 miles. The Scorpion is equipped with a variety of sensors, including electro-optical-slash-infrared, EO-slash-IR cameras, radar and signals intelligence, SIGINT systems. It can also carry a variety of weapons, including air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and rockets. The Scorpion is designed to be affordable and easy to maintain. It is also designed to be versatile and can be used for a variety of missions, including close air support, CS, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, counterinsurgency, SOIN, maritime patrol. The Scorpion is a significant aircraft because it represents a new generation of light attack and ISR platforms. It is more affordable and easier to maintain than traditional fighter jets, and it is also more versatile. The Scorpion could be used by a wide range of countries, including air forces with limited budgets. There are a number of countries that have expressed interest in the Scorpion, including the United States, the United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia. It is possible that one of these countries will be the first to purchase the Scorpion, but it is also possible that other countries will join the list as the aircraft becomes more widely known. Low-cost fighter jets like the Scorpion could be a solution for future battles in a number of ways. Affordability Low-cost fighter jets are more affordable than traditional fighter jets. This is important because it allows air forces to buy more aircraft for their budget. This can be a significant advantage in a conflict against an adversary with a larger air force. Ease of maintenance Low-cost fighter jets are easier to maintain than traditional fighter jets. This is because they are simpler in design and use fewer components. This makes them more attractive to air forces with limited resources. Versatility. Low-cost fighter jets can be used for a variety of missions, including close air support, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, and counterinsurgency, CIOIN. This makes them very versatile aircraft. Attrition warfare. In a future conflict, it is possible that air forces will be willing to accept higher losses of aircraft. In this case, low-cost fighter jets could be used to overwhelm the enemy with numbers. This is a tactic that has been used successfully in the past, such as by the Soviet Union in World War II. The Textron Airland Scorpion fighter jet is expected to cost less than $20 million per unit. This is significantly less than the cost of other fighter jets, such as the F-35 Lightning II $80 million per unit, and the F-18 Super Hornet $70 million per unit. The Scorpion is also less expensive than other light attack aircraft, such as the Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano, $15 million per unit, and the AT-6 Wolverine, $30 million per unit. The Scorpion's low cost is due to a number of factors, including its simple design, its use of commercial off-the-shelf components, and its production in a low-cost country. The low cost may appeal to air forces looking to replace older aircraft or who want to maximize their budget and acquire a larger fleet of less expensive aircraft. However, Scorpion faces competition from countries like Russia and China. The Russian light strike fighter Yak-130 and the Chinese supersonic fighter JF-17 are both on the market and attracting buyers. The Scorpion's low cost makes it a very attractive option for countries that are looking for an affordable and versatile fighter jet. It is also a good option for countries that have limited budgets or that are looking to operate a large number of fighter jets. It is important to note that the cost of aircraft can vary depending on a number of factors, such as the configuration of the aircraft, the number of aircraft purchased, and the terms of the sale. 
In addition to these general advantages, low-cost fighter jets like the Scorpion could also be particularly useful for specific missions. For example, they could be used to patrol contested airspace. Low-cost fighter jets could be used to patrol contested airspace, such as the South China Sea. This would free up more expensive and capable fighter jets for other missions. Support ground forces. Low-cost fighter jets could be used to provide close air support to ground forces. This is a vital mission in modern warfare and low-cost fighter jets could be used to supplement or replace more expensive and capable fighter jets in this role. Conduct ISR missions. Low-cost fighter jets could be used to conduct intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions. This is an important mission that provides air forces with critical information about the enemy. Of course, there are also some potential drawbacks to low-cost fighter jets. One is that they may not be as capable as traditional fighter jets in terms of performance and range. This is because they are designed to be more affordable and easier to maintain. Another drawback is that low-cost fighter jets may not be as survivable as traditional fighter jets in a combat environment. This is because they are typically made from less expensive materials and have less sophisticated electronic warfare systems. Overall, low-cost fighter jets like the Scorpion could be a valuable asset for air forces in the future. They are affordable, easy to maintain, versatile, and could be particularly useful for specific missions such as patrolling contested airspace, supporting ground forces, and conducting ISR missions. However, it is important to note that they may not be as capable or survivable as traditional fighter jets in a combat environment. Whether or not low-cost fighter jets are a solution for future battles will depend on a number of factors, including the specific needs of the Air Force, the budget available, and the threat environment.